Hello everybody, I'm Bigatech, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Vanilla City Skylines. Can we all just take a minute to appreciate this view? Like seriously, from, from where we started with just, you know, that, that tiniest little section of little houses, which will be roughly in here somewhere, to this, this sprawling expanse, right? We've got wellings down here, we've got skyline views, we've got CBD through here, Lausanne Park, roughly where this massive tower is. We've got Sierra Vistas over here looking all beautiful with the airport and the, the airplanes flying around. We've got the expansion to the CBD, which is slowly growing, looking really great. We've got fish land sort of just showing in down the bottom here. Uh, we've got uh, techie wood, which will eventually happen like that. That'll happen eventually. The problem is at the moment, there's just people just don't want to move in. So there's very little I can do at this point until more people decide to move in. Uh, we have these second suburbs going on over here, which again, can't do anything with until people move in. And then way off in the distance on the left, we have got uh, Dumsville, which is no longer dumb because of, you know, monuments and the like. Uh, and then off just, ooh, just here, we have got, uh, the redone Meadow Industrial, which is, again, empty at the moment because nobody wants to build industrial. At this point, nobody wants to build anything. Um, but it was all coming together. Oh, and way off in the distance ahead of us, if we just scroll over here, boom. This is our dock area, our, specifically just our cargo harbor. Um, but what a view, like seriously, what a view. I love this game, I really do. I think it's great. And like, you can get, oh, it's just so big. It's so, so big. Like this is, this is actually a big city. It's, it's impressive. Anyway, that's enough sort of, you know, thinking about how great we are. Um, we need to, I don't know, what do we, what do we want to do? We've got, we've got very little demand for anything. My little list of paper here, the only thing that I had left on it was to fix metal industrial and to fix the, uh, the passenger train line, right? Which is done. Well, I mean, it's, it's still not perfect. We still have a little bit of blocks in here, but mostly it's flowing all right it's going it's going fine okay so i just i just don't know what to do at this point like i i've 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 sort of run out of ideas until like obviously autumn heights here again if you guys have left comments uh left names in the comments i'm sorry i'm recording this way 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 in advance because I'm moving house, I don't know if I've already moved house at this point, if I'm moving house, I've lost track of when these episodes are going out, but until, until I can actually move house and this, you know, this, the names will stay, the terrible idea that was this, this roundabout thing, until you guys can suggest a new one to me, it's gonna stay, and golly golly gosh, look at all that traffic. I guess because everyone has to come to here right now, because... There is just nothing else. And it is starting to block up because there is just, this is just where everyone's going. Just, that's where everyone's going. And that's, that's fine. That's all right. Whatever. Uh, thing, yeah, it's, it's going to be, going to be a bit messy. Um, train lines are getting a bit clogged up. Uh, fine at this end though. Not so fine at that end anymore. Traffic's blocked up over there. Have we looked, have we recently looked at our traffic? I don't think we actually have. Let's have a look at traffic. Right. Traffic is shocking through the CBD. Well, actually, it's actually, it's not too bad. Like it's slow, but there's no massive queues anywhere. The only really bad area is, is this section through here, right? Heading into, heading into and out of skyline, sorry, not skyline views, Sierra Vistas and along this stretch of road right that is a traffic jam of cars that's not parked cars 
That's a traffic jam of cars because they all want to turn right here. And then these guys want to turn right here and they can't. And they just, they just can't. So driving along that section is a sh bit of a shit and I would hate to do it in real life. A um, little bit of demand for commercial. So I might be able to just connect the power up, hopefully. If we can get, if we can connect the power up, I'll be happy to these things. That is, that is my goal for this episode is to connect the power up. But yeah, as I said, there's, there's very little I can do with, with this lack of demand other than just sort of rebuilding stuff. But that's what I did over in Meadow Industrial. And of course, well, there's no demand. So I can't exactly properly rebuild it. So I have all these empty sections like Tiki Wood, like the CBD, like Autumn Heights, like Meadow Industrial now. That are all entirely empty. And I don't know what to do. So, and I can't even say, oh, leave your suggestions in the comments because, well, like I said, I'm not going to get to read them for a while. At least I have a dock. That looks kind of cool. That does look kind of cool. Um, I could get like a, a, a touristy harbor. But then again, where do I put it? There's, like, I, I could, I could pop one right just there. I, and I have, there we go. Right. So we have, we have a, a normal harbor, right? Which means I can get rid of these and I can move you to there and then you can be, what are you? Oh, you're a police station. Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Uh, the observatory can then move down right next to the opera house uh bulldoze bulldoze right pause road this kind in in lovely right zoning of offices through here wonderful right okay and then it will need some water obviously because I never water my buildings. Um, and we should be good. Great. So now we can get normal harbor stuff as well. And actually, we could go, we could, we could go and put like a little a little park in here. Or a big park. Can I get a proper big park? I cannot. I can get this kind of park though. Which is great. And then then we could get some like actual trees and we can do some like proper like landscaping through here. Like the kind of stuff that I, I haven't done in so long because I'm on vanilla and I don't have my tree brush. Like seriously, without the tree brush, oh, this is just painful. We could grab a little a little dirt path here. Oh. Little dirt path here. The problem is, it, and that's the other thing, is I don't have, like I can't connect. Oh, oh I can. I didn't think I could connect to that because I didn't have uh, the old uh, what? What? Why would you bulldoze that? Space already occupied. By what? Really? Okay, turn off snapping. Oh, okay, you yeah, know that that's that's fair enough. I can't I can't go there, but I can connect into the park, which is which is kind of cool. And then I can go ahead and get trees. But yeah, because I don't have uh, the tree or the the road anarchy or the tree and prop anarchy i can't like just build a path boom straight through there i want you to connect to here which would be great but i can't do it i can however sort of fill in that area with trees get that to look just that little bit nicer and are we going to get our first boat our first like passenger on the colossal lines look at that. colossal lines that's actually kind of cool i like that Colossal lines, right? Are we going to get our first Colossal lines boat? I don't know. Um, however, doing that park reminded me that over here... No. Over here on Fishland, I was going to do a bit of a custom park down the back. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get a, a path that goes like this. And then this one, which connects through here and up there lovely and unfortunately i don't have like all of the mod like all the props and stuff so i can't do like a, a, a gazebo down the end which is a bit of a shame but i could put in 
like a couple big trees like that as sort of like as like almost a landmark where people might want to go i don't know would people want to go and visit just massive trees genuinely don't know but i do need something to sort of make this area have a purpose and those trees those trees are gonna serve it all right so if you don't like it well you could leave a comment but i won't read it for another like week so or two even so it's fine leave your comments i don't care i do however value value your opinions and can almost guarantee that if someone says oh no don't use those trees use this instead and whatever this may be i'll probably end up doing that because you guys tend to have much better ideas than I do. And I'm, I'm happy to admit that. You guys you guys are much, much smarter than me. And also probably understand the game more than me. Like, you, you know that I can just go and get bl tree blur or like some pretty flowers or something without cheating and stuff like that. Which is information that I probably should know with the amount of time that I've spent in this game. But just don't. But there we go, wonderful. So we have this this sort of little park here with paths and some, some people. Look at the people. Look at them all. Aha. So now, boom. That there could be a thumbnail. I don't know if it is. Uh, I've, I've had loads of thumbnail moments and that's why I don't know. Like, that would make a great thumbnail, but I've just had so many moments that would make great thumbnails that I just don't want to say which one it's going to be. I'm just going to have to have to go through and, and look at them all. Anyway, let's go ahead and speed up the game just a wee bit, because I want some more demand. There's only so much time that I can kill with standard vanilla trees, right? Like, there's there's only so much time that you can spend placing in the same tree. And I can't even put, like, colourful trees in, because the vanilla just doesn't have them. <laughs> this is the variation I have. Dark green and light green and really tall green and that's it that that's all the variation that you can have um unfortunately so i will of course use that variation to its fullest extent um and i i i, I don't know i don't know why i've decided to just start decorating maybe because it kills time maybe because it allows me to just waffle on about decorating and complaining about the fact that i'm no longer using mods which I really, really miss, which is 90% of the reason that I'm uh, I'm doing this, because I just, I just, I, I like decorating, I like making the pretty, the like the pretty areas and the little, little custom details and everything, but without the mods, it just doesn't work, it just, well, it works, it just becomes very difficult. I mean, that does look very cool with all of that greenery around, but, you know, it's pretty difficult to do without the mods. Like, if I had the brush, and then, you know, you just brush in tree number two with leaves, which is true with leaves number two, which is what I'm using here, and then you would just go in with a couple, a couple colorful ones, and you'd be done, right? It's great. And if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about in terms of tree brush and all the mods and stuff, go back, watch my Recreating Rural New Zealand's uh, series which is where I did load, like, it was so many mods, it was kind of ridiculous even. Um, lots and lots of mods, and uh, lot, you, you can see exactly what I did with all of, like, the design and the, the, the making things look pretty and the like. And I think it, it turned out pretty well. I think I'm pretty proud of that series. Um, so if you want to know what I can sort of do with, with design stuff, then go and watch that series, because that really is the pinnacle of my creativity. I don't think I've been anywhere near as creative ever again, like before or since. That that really is it when it comes to me and creativity, uh, which is also why I'm scared to do another creative series, which I am thinking of doing, but I just don't think I can top recreating rural New Zealand ever. Uh, so a little bit nervous to, to, to do another creative series but don't worry there is some there's still some time until that happens uh there's still plenty to do here in beaker city and i just have to wait for the demand so i can do it but there we go that is fishland all decorated up with trees and i think that that looks really great Ta-da! and boom another thumbnail 
opportunity right there. Beautiful, beautiful shot. Anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then you know what to do by now. Smash that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.